اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ستودنت اند ا فيري جود مورنينج تو ايفري ون ذس از بيمو مدريم هير وي ار ان كيمستري كلاس 9th شابتر ذا سيم شابتر شابتر 6 سوليوشنز جست تو توبكس اوف ذس شابترز ار ريمينينج ليت يو توداي يو كان اوبن يور بيج نمبر 118 118 uh, here in the last paragraph you can see the topic 6.6.1 solute solvent interaction during solubility uh, the topic is actually the topic is actually solute solvent interaction during solubility uh, actually we uh, uh, we will discuss uh, 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 the interaction between solute and solvent uh, uh, during the solubility that what uh, in the solubility what is the interaction of solute and solvent so you can see that as described earlier in a journal uh, phenomena phenomenon uh, works in the formation um, of a solution uh, we uh, we studied that what is solute what is solvent and what is their uh, interaction but here we, uh, we 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 discussed the same thing in the previous lecture that like dissolved like it was uh, uh, discussed in the uh, previous uh, lectures that like dissolve like uh, so means polars like polars non polars like non polars so uh, due to the development of attraction forces among the solute and solvent particles uh, the uh, there is attraction force is developed between the particles of solute and solvent we when we are going to uh, to uh, to make a solution so the uh, particles of uh, solvent and solute uh, they uh, developed an uh, an attractive force among them so in the in the result uh, the solution is formed and also in the result uh, uh, of the process the lower uh, the energy is um, lower uh, and we can say a resultant product has less stabilit stabilizing energy uh, means when a uh, solute and solvent combines the resultant product uh, well has um, uh, stabilizing energy very low so therefore they they, they stabilize they uh, they uh, remain stabilized they um, uh, combine with each other so the solution is formed due to these uh, by developing attraction force among the solute and solvent particles and uh, uh, lo uh, losing uh, energy by stabilizing energy when stabilizing energy is lost so the solution is formed solubility involves ionization ionization means uh, charges positive and negative charges when comes on the uh, atoms on any uh, element uh, on the atoms of any element that process is called ionization so solubility also involves ionization uh, and uh, uh, each cation is captured by negative poles of solvent and anions by positive poles of solvent so it means each cation is captured by the negative poles of solvent each cation cations positive charges uh, of uh, any substance is called cation and anions are the negative ions negative ions that has uh, ions uh, negative so uh, when we uh, mix a solute that is cation that has positive charges on it that will be captured by the solvent particles that has negative poles that is negative charges on it and the uh, anion of anion uh, 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 ions uh, the particle that has anion that has negative charges on it that will be attracted that will be captured by the positive uh, poles of solvent means those uh, uh, elements those atoms uh, of the solvent those particle of the solvent that has positive charge means uh, and, uh, positive are attracted by negative and negative are by uh, uh, positive so uh, uh, this process is said to be salivation or solubilizes solubilizes this is the process that 
cation is captured by negative two poles and anion is captured by positive two poles this process is called uh, salivation cellulosis between sodium chloride and uh, h2o uh, you can see that uh, the uh, sodium chloride and uh, h2o when we uh, uh, want to uh, uh, when we want to dissolve uh, sodium chloride in the water so uh, this uh, positive poles of the sodium are uh, mm, captured by the uh, negative poles of the mm, oxygen of water so this this they mm, can dissolve each other in the next slide we can see here you here you can see uh, that uh, mm, here we have uh, sodium chloride this sodium is from sodium chloride and uh, this chlorine is from sodium chloride this is the chlorine atoms of sodium and this is uh, sodium chloride and this is the sodium mm, atom so sodium atom is mm, uh, has a cation it has positive charges here you can see and it is captured by the negative poles of oxygen oxygen h2o this is one h2o molecule this is another h2o molecule this is another h2o molecule and we have the fourth one h2o molecule so if we see in the h2o molecules in the water and h2o we have two positive we have two positive charges we have two cations uh, h uh, mm, and, uh, hydrogen atoms that has positive charges here you can see and in the same h2o the oxygen atom has negative charges here you can see so sodium has positive charges sodium is not captured by the positive uh, mm, poles of the uh, 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 water of h2o it is captured by negative means mm, cations are captured by the negative poles of sol solvent so water is solvent with us and this sodium is solute with us so the uh, cation this is cation positive charges is kept uh, captured by the negative uh, poles of the uh, solvent here you can see chlorine is negative charges it is anion and it is captured by the h uh, atoms hydrogen atoms you can say they, they have positive charges as in the case of sodium they were not attached to uh, sodium because they have positive charges in the case of chlorine they are attached by they are captured by the uh, hydrogen atoms because chlorine has negative charge and it has positive charge so this is uh, solute solvent interaction force in sodium chloride solubilisis solubility and the temperature solubility depends on temperature generally depends upon the temperature uh, because when we increase the temperature the solubility mm, will be increased uh, around 95 percent of solid solute solubility increases with increase in temperature all the solute solid solute uh, increases their solubility with the increase uh, in temperature about 95 percent you can say uh, in gaseous solute the temperature increases decreases in water in gaseous form if we say the solute is ga gas uh, with us uh, in gaseous so if we increase the temperature uh, the solubility of these gases solute will be decreased in the water you can say uh, increase in organic solvent mostly uh, the solubility of solvent uh, is always increased in organic solvent if we uh, uh, mix if we uh, want to make a s solution of any uh, solute in an organic solvent um, that will be increased automatically because organic solvents uh, ha have um, uh, temperatures graphic representation graphic representation of the solubility and temperature you can say sodium nitrate potassium nitrate uh, show large increase in solubility with temperature uh, as we can see um, the solubility of given solute in a given solvent generally depends upon the temperature uh, and uh, you can see uh, that many salts like sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate show a large increase uh, in solubility with temperature means when if we increase temperature the solubility of potassium nitrate and sodium nitrate will be increased they show a large increase 
some solute like sodium chloride they are uh, independent on temperature sodium if we uh, uh, mix if we uh, mix it with uh, in water in a low temperature or high temperature it doesn't uh, depend on the, uh, on the temperature it its solubility neither increases nor decreases with the uh, increase and decrease of temperature so it is fairly independent on temperature a few like uh, a few like uh, solvent uh, solutes like hcl and h3 becomes less soluble in hot water in hot water and so it means uh, by the increase of temperature their solubility decreases uh, uh, a few like hcl uh, and h3 hydrochloric acid and ammonia and their uh, solubility will uh, will less they will decrease in the hot water it means we, if we uh, increase the temperature their solubility will be decreased organic compounds become soluble with an increase in temperature if we increase the temperature the organic compounds uh, will uh, become more soluble their solubility will be increases uh, with the temperature uh, techniques of recrystallization depends on hot and cold solvent uh, so it means uh, uh, recrystallization the process of recrystallization also uh, depend on temperature if we increase or decrease the temperature the solubility of uh, um, uh, sorry the process of uh, recrystallization will be affected increase or decrease uh, there are always exceptions uh, in these cases mm, there is always exceptions uh, these are not uh, for all the uh, solvent and solute there may be some uh, solute or solvent and they uh, they doesn't have uh, they, they don't have the same uh, features the same characters so uh, so this is the um, uh, paragraph you can see here uh, on this side this is the solubility increasing and it is from 10 to 150 you can say if your graph is going upward it means your solubility is increasing and this is from 0 to 100 it means uh, uh, if you increase the temperature your solubility will be uh, increases now we will see that uh, 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 which uh, solvent uh, so solute has uh, uh, increases its solubility with the increase in temperature uh, so first of all we can see that um, SO2 you can say SO2 on 100 uh, centigrade centigrade its solubility uh, will be uh, 30 or less than 30 it means they, they are less uh, affected they are less dependent on the uh, um, increase in temperature now kclo3 it is highly uh, uh, with the increase of temperature their solubility also increases sodium chloride it is fairly you can see now uh, they it, it doesn't depend on if we increase the temperature up to 100 degree centigrade the solubility of the sodium chloride will remain the same as it is in the low uh, temperature uh, kcl its uh, temperature if we uh, increase its temperature its solubility will be decreases and also nh4cl its uh, uh, if we increase the solubility uh, temperature its solubility will be decreases you can see kno3 if we increase its uh, uh, temperature its solubility will be decreases sodium nitrate and k2 you can see the paragraph as well as if we increase the temperature the solubility will be uh, increases if we decrease the solubility uh, increase the solubility and the solubility will be de decreases comparison of solution suspension and col collides there are three things solution we have already discussed it uh, solution suspension and uh, collide there is differences between this in your daily life you must have seen different types of solution with variety of characters like cold drink sugar mm, syrup uh, mm, drugs preparation paints and emulsions as etc these are the examples of solution solutions are simple thing simple mixture homogeneous mixture you can say solutions typically completely uh, miscible mm, a mixable form of solution is uh, the best regarded true form of solution discussed previously uh, as we discussed this thing in pre previous class uh, that uh, uh, typically miscible 
mixable form of solution is the best solution uh, they are uh, sometime uh, sometimes solution consists of bigger solute particles uh, collides has the um, solute particle bigger than a solution solution is the particle we release they are totally mixed in the in the solvent but here in the collides they are uh, a little bit bigger uh, solute particles the particles of solute are a little bit uh, bigger uh, their size is from 2 to 100 nanometer uh, you can see the solute particle size in the collides are from 2 to 100 nanometer uh, particles are distributed in solvent uh, while in solution they are mixed in the solvent here they are distributed in the solvent uh, in the solvent in collides uh, appears to form homogeneous mixture over time they separate it and form heterogeneous mixture uh, currently uh, if we make solvent uh, from uh, 2 to 100 nanometer in a solvent that means we we want to make um, to prepare collides uh, at earlier time that is homogeneous mixture like solution but with the passage of time over time uh, the sol solute particles separates from the um, solvent and form heterogeneous mixture this is the difference between the uh, uh, collides and solution you can see uh, examples are blood fog smoke and paint we can see on uh, over the time uh, blood cells are uh, separated from each other paints are separated from each other so this is the collide and this is the last suspension types of solution suspension is a type of solution is a true genius space here we can't use homogeneous uh, uh, solution because it is a true genius there are different uh, the solute and solvent uh, similar to colloidal in many ways but unlike to collides uh, it is same to collides uh, in many ways if we see but it is unlike to collide it is not completely uh, same to collides now solute particle seems always separated I, I, as we see um, as we saw in the collides they were in the earlier time they were um, uh, uh, mixed with the solvent but after uh, over the time they separated but in the suspension solute particles are always uh, separated particle size is greater than collides than 100 nanometers greater than 100 uh, 100 na 1000 nanometer 1000 nanometer uh, example is floor in water c2 and mud in water that we mix with each other when we can easily um, examine absorb this the particles in the solution uh, in the solvent so this is a suspension uh, you can differentiate uh, among the suspension solution and collides uh, some medicinal uh, solutions are suspension as they uh, they they, they uh, on them uh, may be written this uh, that uh, sh uh, well shake before use so it is for that um, it's for that purpose that the solute uh, uh, particles uh, mixed get uh, get mixed with the uh, solvent so uh, ice cream is also an example of suspension because uh, there are mixture of ice crystal uh, and cream crystals with each other in in the cream so ice crystals are a solute solute and cream is the solvent this is all about today's topic and our chapter is uh, almost ended in the next lecture inshallah we will uh, do our exercise as we have done uh, fill in the blanks and choose the correct answer inshallah i will provide you the uh, um, answer of fill in the blanks and choose the correct answer and we will do the uh, question number three answer the following question in short in the next uh, uh, slide and you can um, uh, study uh, um, the table on page number uh, 121 uh, uh, in your book uh, thank you all of you students